today I'm going to ask Astor about Astor's role, Starseed's role, and the Christ consciousness and ascension. So I was listening to someone else Astor's message, and I got psychic attack from the being who happened to be not Astor when I was listening to the message. And I stopped listening, and then I got psychic attack. So that happened to be 40 Zeta lecture being pretending to be Astor. So Astor wanted to talk about this topic and because he was aware of, I was listening to it and then I wasn't using my discernment because I couldn't see the person or anything and the voice was computer generated voice. So I couldn't really feel the vibration from it the person who is doing doing the channeling. So I couldn't really tell anyhow. So Asta wanted to talk this topic because he wants to convey the correct information about what he's doing. So if you guys want to have um, help for your ascension journey, having a spiritual awakening problem, Let's have a free diagnostic call and I'm more than happy to talk with you and to see what we can do about it in your situation. This is Asta of Asta Command. We are here to serve all of you. The role of Asta Command is to serve for all. I am pretty sure we have been talking about us in some previous transmission. So we are sort of galactic peace core. We are here to serve and help your ascension journey, ascension process of the humanity in every way we can do as possible. So part of the way we assist your ascension journey is to send our crew to earth. So when we measure the collective frequency of the humanity, we can get the data and an analysis of the frequency. So from that data, we can analyze the possibility of the direction of the humanity is heading toward. That is just a data and most of the higher frequency beings like ourselves, we have never been experienced the life on earth. And earth is very different from rest of the galaxy. Even comparing to 3D planets or 4D planets of other places, earth is very different. You are the one who feels like completely disconnected from the source, the prime creator. Of course, you do have a tools such as spirituality or, or religion to connect with the prime creator through those. But what we are saying is, you lost direct knowingness and a direct connection as a humanity. Some of the people really wonder if God, which means the prime creator, really exists. After you have experience in your awakening, you started to feel the connection with all. And the way you feel connection with all, you are also feeling the connection with the prime creator. That is the beginning of the step of the awakening. So earth has extremely unnatural structure compared to other planets because your world is constructed 
on purposely to keep yourselves in fear and anxiety. Your current situation, what is going on in global basis is the perfect example. Your feeling of death, your feeling of disease, your feeling of your financial or economic situation, your feeling of the government restriction, on and on and on. So when you are experiencing these fears, which is represented by many events and also all other programming materials such as television, programming, news, literature, and everything you hear which doesn't make you feel loving and peaceful. That might be including some sort of music with some frequencies as well, which is a very unusual structure. Because all other planet, when they experience the ascension, they go through the natural process, means when the planet frequency raise up, increase, your frequency will increase harmoniously and you will ascend. You don't really need to go through a lot of struggle as all of you have been experiencing. And also the people in other planets do have strong connection with the prime creator. So there is no hopelessness or feeling of extreme loneliness because when you are always connected with others energetically, including prime creator, you know you have someone such as prime creator is having your back. So there's no need for you to wonder what is going to happen in the future, for example. You do not need to gather the information from various sources so you can prepare for the worst case scenario. This is very earth oriented culture. And this is exactly why we are assisting in every way as possible to give our hands. And the reason why we send our grand crew, I'm pretty sure the organization from other planets, they did send their grand crew as well. Therefore, all of you who are listening to this transmission are starseed. You are not originally from this planet Earth. You volunteered yourself to assist the ascension. So we, as the command, work with the Galactic Federation of Light. Galactic Federation of Light is the organization of various dimensions, 5D and up. So when you want to see the physical galactic being, you do see them in 6D or 5D galactic being. 7D is semi-physical, so if they decided to form their structure to make themselves to show up to you, you can see them, but they are not that solid. Anyhow, so those 
formation. 5D, 6D, 7D, 8D, and including 90 beings are the one who are active in the Galactic Federation of Light. They are included with Ascended Masters. So you call them as the Alliance as well. And any higher beings, 10th dimension or 11th dimension or 12, they are assisting in broader perspective, but their focus is for the entire universe instead of focusing on a particular area of the universe, which is Earth. So, the Galactic Federation of Light is configured by those beings coming from various different planets and various different frequencies, which you can tell by which dimension they come from and various different cultures, appearances. But the commonality is that's including Ashtakman to serve for others, to helping any civilization to go back to the prime creator. Of course, going back and merge with the prime creator doesn't mean death. We are talking about raising your frequency. So just like going up the stairs, you, step, you go step by step to go up to the prime creator. So when your natural process of ascension is, is influenced by the outside forces, which was not the original intention of the creation of earth, and when the natural growth is difficult, that is when we do go and assist and put a lot of forces to help you to raise your frequency. So most of the time we are assisting not only the starseed, to bring yourself back into who you are and light workers. But we are assisting the humanities to saturate their light frequencies as much as possible. A few years ago, you have been talking about the event, the solar flash. And this was a hot topic. Because in that timeline, the huge dosage of the high frequency energy, such as solar flash, was necessary to support the ascension for the majority. That timeline still exists. So it depends on which frequency you are vibrating and which soul path you have chose with your higher self, you may still experience the solar flash, the event. But we want you to really understand you are the one who create your reality through your vibration, through your observation, means what you watch, see, through your belief, what you decide to be true, 
and what kind of base energy you put yourself in general means what kind of base vibration you're vibrating. Are you vibrating in fear? Are you vibrating in fighting and beating and being a warrior mode to beat evil people or evil group up? Which is not so high frequency. And that is a frequency of 4D and 3D as well. Even after you experience certain spiritual awakening, we suggest to grow out of that phase and find compassion. When you create the reality as a creator, this is very similar to cooking. You put certain ingredient and you create a certain dish. So let's say you are planning to create your ascension vibration, 5D vibration. The vibration of 5D is joy. Vibration of 5D is oneness. Oneness means all is you. You are the all. Everything is you. Yes, including those evil people and evil group. So you come to the acceptance that you are the one, you are connected all, and you may have been in the other side of the group in the past life. And you come to the understanding, all of the beings are from the prime creator. Therefore, by having that understanding, you decide to have the unity consciousness, the Christ consciousness. Those of you who follow the religion, you do understand the Christ forgave all. He never taught you to hate your enemies. He taught you to forgive your enemies. But we would say, Father, see these enemy as part of your creation, part of your fragment of your particle of your soul, part of your creation energy. It's same as let's say you have cells in your body. You have a healthy cells. You have cells which is having disease or some kind of problem. But when you look at your body, and let's say when you can see yourselves, for example, you are not going to attack those cells, which seems to be not healthy. And you started to yelling at the cells and uh, tell them to, I'm going to eliminate you because cells are part of you, regardless of which category. So you accept all and you seek full recovery as all of you, all of your body, all of yourselves. So we hope this analogy is clear to you.
the Christ consciousness is to accept everything is part of you and you are part of all, including those who you look down or condemn or hate. And we're not asking you to do this overnight. Everything new practice you do require the practice. So when you can reach the forgiveness toward these people, these group, do that and see what more you can do. Just because you reach the conclusion of oneness, which means these evil groups and the evil beings, that's including demonic beings or evil cult groups or evil groups. Just because you come to the compassion and the unity consciousness, it doesn't mean you will emerge yourself with them. You simply acknowledge you're all from the prime creator. So from that truth within you, you make a decision what you can do by knowing everything is coming from the prime creator. When you know this, you can make a different choice. And when you have difficulty of having compassion or even forgiving those evil empire or evil creatures, we suggest you to focus on positive aspect of your life, positive people in your life. So your focus goes away from those. So going back to the analogy of cooking, when you are trying to create vibration of 5D, it's love, joy, harmony, oneness. So these are the main ingredients of 5D vibration, love, joy, harmony, oneness, peace too. But let's say when you include this feeling of hate, feeling of fight, feeling of I'm going to defeat these evil forces, it's almost like a, you're putting the extremely pungent condiment inside of your cooking. In a way, you're messing up the vibration. So when you mess up your vibration by putting the vibration which doesn't belong into 5D vibration. This will block you from forming the vibration of 5D energetically. This is why we have been talking to you to focus on your inside. Do not look at external things because when you look at external things, it is very difficult to focus on the 
major content of 5D vibration. You create your vibration through everything you are exposing yourself to and you emit yourself based on that. This is why the part of the reason the earth was structured in such a unnatural manner so certain interest group can prevent you to ascend, can prevent you to proceed your vibrational level from 3D to 4D to 5D. This is why things are happening or have been happening in your world and things have structured in a certain way. So it will be very difficult for all of you to start vibrating in the basic ingredients of 5D. Because when you are surrounded by fear, when you are surrounded by hate, when you are surrounded by fight or flight, when you are surrounded by anger, when you are surrounded by anxiety, it is very difficult for you to break through these surroundings and then keep your vibration with just love, compassion, harmony, and joy. Need a lot of practice. And this is why we are assisting all of you to realize you realize for you to awaken your own power realize for you to understand you are the creator you are a creator so you don't really have to wait for the savior you don't even have to wait for some kind of extremely amazing wisdom from some other higher beings, which is nice to hear because it's gonna empower you and encourage you. But to understand you are the one who is holding the key to the ascension. And the more, more and more you are going to emanate your vibration with joy, love, compassion, harmony. And while you are being a conduit of higher frequency light quotient, which is pouring onto the humanity daily, and you're transmitting all these higher frequencies to your people around you. You are doing your mission by just existing on this earth plane. Because without your existence, we do not have the ground crew to transmit the high frequency energy to your fellow human beings. And without you, which many of you go back to your home planet or the ship, such as ourselves or other ships, to go through debriefing, to let the Federation or us or your people to understand what it is like to live on earth as a human being. Because understanding the data is one thing, but hearing actual experience through each one of you is another thing. So we can implement our help 
precisely by hearing real voice from each one of you. And we do understand that this is a very difficult mission for all of you. And we do understand 70% of you are feeling like you want to go home or you want to go back to the ship. We do understand how hard it is. But your existence, your volunteer work of being on this earth is the part of the miracle, part of the power part of the force to bring the all humanity to ascend. You don't need 7 billion people to wake up and spiritually awaken. You are like a tuning fork. You tend to raise vibration by the influence of external forces. So each one of you, Starseed, you are the external forces to your neighbors, your friends, your parents, your families, and the people in your countries, so on and so forth. And your existence is such a treasure and your being here and exist in this difficult time is huge courageous act and we do acknowledge that and you are assisting and helping us to analyze and calculate and see which light quadrant, what frequency, how long, when, to which spot to send to earth. And that's how we are assisting the humanity. Because everything is energy. Of course, part of the Galactic Alliance is part of the Earth Alliance too, so helping in that way as well. However, the major part of our contribution, that's including Ashtag Man, is to help you to raise your frequency in every way as possible. Because once you break through your matrix by raising your frequencies. You will have a hundred monkey effect, which will spread like wildfire on all of the earth and in this current timeline, we do know you are on the path to ascend along with the humanity. This is Ashtar of Ashtar Command. We are here to serve all of you. So that was a message from Ashtar. I hope you like it. So if you guys need help, of your ascension process. Let's have a free diagnostic call. Thank you so much for watching. Please share, like, subscribe, and I see you guys next time. Bye.